Let's talk about why parentheses are so important. In this example, you can see I have the expressions with the exact same numbers. However, by inserting parentheses, I'm going to get wildly different answers. So let's go and see how by applying the order of operations, these parentheses are going to mess everything up and give me different answers. So for the first one, with no parentheses, just follow the order of operations. We know we have to square the three first, then I need to apply multiplication before I can apply subtraction. So a three squared is going to be a nine, two times nine is 18, 14 minus 18 is going to equal 14 14 minus 18 is a negative four. Now I have these parentheses. That's telling me focus on inside the parentheses first. So in this case, I have a two times three, which is a six. Now I can square the six before subtracting. So a six squared is going to be a 36. So 14 minus a 36 is going to equal a negative 22. Now in this case, we have the parentheses around the 14 and two. So I subtract them, 14 minus two is going to be a 12. Now I have a 12 times a three squared. So I need to square the three first, which is going to be a nine. 12 times nine is going to equal 108. Over here, I have everything inside the parentheses I need to simplify before squaring. But again, I need to follow my order of operations inside the parentheses. Make sure you multiply before subtracting. Two times three is going to be a six. 14 minus six is going to be an eight. Now I can square it and eight squared equals a 64. Last but not least here, I have this parentheses inside of another parentheses. So I'm going to focus on the 14 minus two first. And so 14 minus two is going to be a 12. Then I can multiply by three, which is a 36. Now I need to go ahead and square it. So a 36 squared is going to be a 1,296. You can see guys, the variations of the answers. Parentheses are very important.